How's it going? My name is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and this tutorial is a quick one. It's going to be about adding CAPTCHA to your contact form in WordPress. Uh, I primarily work on responsive themes in WordPress but I'm sure themes that aren't responsive uh, you can use this as well. You'll need two plugins and the first plugin you're going to need is contact form 7 okay you want to type that in your plugin search go ahead and download it activate it and you're also going to want a plugin called really simple captcha okay it works in conjunction with contact form 7 and this one's going to be really easy folks um, if you've already got contact form 7 and you're already using it well then this will be a breeze to just add this on once you install really simple captcha you'll see an option inside your contact form 7 settings to add captcha so let's do that we've got both plugins installed and activated contact form 7 and really simple captcha now let's go to contact which is the label you get on the dashboard when you install contact form 7 and here is the form I have for this particular site that I created with contact form 7 and there is the basic form and if we go to the front end and we're here on the contact page here's the form right here very basic form but as you can see there's no security code option or anything to add captcha uh, before entering any content into the form and the purpose of CAPTCHA for those of you who don't know is there are what are called uh, bots and spiders out on the internet that crawl the internet they scan websites they try to log into websites they do good and bad things for instance Google uses robots to scan your website so they can determine your ranking in search engines that's a good thing but there are other bots that just go to websites and try to log in, try to leave comments, try to leave spam, try to get email addresses, and so forth. And so CAPTCHA is a system whereby you add an image uh, to a form, and whoever is filling out the form has to look at that image and enter what they see in the image. Although you see text in most CAPTCHA images, it's not actually text that you can select. Um, it's an image of some text and bots and spiders cannot uh, view or interpret that information so it's um, a way to make sure that it's a human being filling out your form alright so with that brief lesson on CAPTCHA let's go ahead and get back over to the dashboard and we're inside of our contact form 7 edit form page and right next to your form the way you have it laid out is a button for generate tag and once you have really simple captcha installed it will add this option to your contact form 7 drop down menu so we're going to select captcha now this is really easy all we're going to do we selected captcha and now what we want to do is choose a size for it. I'm going to choose large. Okay, as you can see it added that option to the code that you're going to be using. And let's see. How about foreground color? I just happen to have the color that I want to use for the foreground. put that in there and I'm just going to use good old black for the background color alright and let's see once you click out of those two options as you can see it adds foreground color and background color and the size all the options that you selected in the capture window alright so we're pretty much done um, I'm going to go ahead and click here. It copies that for you. Go, highlights it. Go ahead and
copy that. Control C or Command C. Okay. And what we're going to want to do is let's click right here. We want it right above the submit button. I'm going to enter, enter, make a, a little space. And I'm going to copy that or paste that capture code right here, right where I want it. Okay. And there's two that you need to copy and paste. Um, this one, Capture R, is the response. Okay, so we're going to click in there. Copy that. And we're going to put the response in front of the Captcha image or question. And then I'm going to put one more space in there, drop down here, and then I'm going to put some text. Okay, I just typed in, please enter security code, and this will be the capture R is where they're going to enter what they see in the capture image right here. And that's the foreground color and the background color of the CAPTCHA image. All right, so we're done. You just added CAPTCHA to your contact form 7. Uh, let's go ahead and save. You always want to save your form when you're done. All righty. We're all done with that. Now let's go ahead and jump back over to the website and the contact page that I was showing you earlier. As you can see, it's just a regular form with no CAPTCHA and you don't see that text, please enter the security code. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. You can press F5 for that if you want. And there you have it. Please enter security code. Now here is the Capture R, the response that we need to enter, and here is the image and the letters inside the image that they need to enter. Okay, so when someone fills out the form, before they send it, they need to enter this security code, which is your CAPTCHA right there. Alright, so let's jump right back over here, and once again, as you can see, we selected CAPTCHA from the drop-down menu, brought up the CAPTCHA options window, and you must make sure, although you shouldn't have any problems unless you start editing the code, but this number right here, CAPTCHA A509, uh, CAPTCHA C509, and CAPTCHA R509, that information must match. And it does if you do everything um, in line like I just did for you in the video. Alright, so you shouldn't have any problems. And once again, put the CAPTCHA R in front of the CAPTCHA C if you want this particular layout. If you want it uh, set up a little different or if you want this on top or however you want it, you can go ahead and arrange it the way you like. Alright, so that was just a quick tutorial on Contact Form 7 and really simple CAPTCHA. How to add security to your form. Contact Form 7 plugin and really simple CAPTCHA plugin. Download, activate those two plugins and you'll be set to go. And it's a really good idea to add that feature to your form if you have a form on your website or blog. It does help protect your site. All right. So more tips, tools, and tutorials from Alan at MindVisionMedia.net. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Check out my website, follow my blog, leave me some likes, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.